When we talk about stopping human-induced climate change, we talk about the need to stop burning fossil fuels, and we absolutely have to do that, but that's not enough anymore. So we also need to be looking at the new technologies that we can use to start to pull those greenhouse gases back out of the atmosphere as well. There's a whole range of technologies which can be used to remove greenhouse gases from the atmosphere. These range from the nanoscale to the very large-scale land use change options and, and everything in between. Those are things which are relatively well documented as possibilities, and there's about two dozen of those. But what I'm really interested in is whether ANU can add to that list by bringing together our expertise across disciplines so that we can actually start to have additional things to that list which other people haven't thought of before. And in particular to work across this from the very start, from a technological perspective, through to the uh, governance perspectives and right through to implementation so we can actually have solutions in relation to removing greenhouse gases. But this issue doesn't exist in isolation. When we're dealing with large-scale issues about emission removal, we're dealing with billions of tonnes of carbon dioxide. It has to be massive scaled and that means it's going to impact on other issues, impact on land use, impact on water, impact on innovation. So we really need to take a very comprehensive and integrative approach and I think that's one of the strengths of ANU where we can actually bring together a seriously interdisciplinary approach. For me the grand challenge associated with this whole enterprise is coming up with governance solutions that overcome political and social apathy towards the problem and as we all know in this space the magnitude of the problem is almost inconceivable but we're going to continue to struggle with the fact that society and politicians aren't overly invested in this problem. So we've got to come up with some sort of governance solution which overcomes that apathy and ensures that we have the incentives that we need to support these technologies and deal with the trade-offs. So if people are interested in this research, contact us. Uh, get in touch with the Climate Change Institute so that we can actually put people together, um, so we can form some teams to work on this issue. I'm particularly interested in uh, cross-disciplinary approaches where we can bring people together so that we can provide integrated solutions. This is a, a human problem. We talk about climate change and we know that humans have caused it. We also need humans to be part of the solution and I'm optimistic that, that we can do that and, and we have to do that for our future generations.